Hey everybody, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com and today I want to show you a fun trick with delay to actually change the recorded part that you have. If you're a guitarist, then you know how powerful delays can be in actually creating all new sounds and completely new parts uh, for actually very simple guitar parts. The Edge from U2 is obviously very famous for this. He'll play a very, very simple part on the guitar, which by itself doesn't sound impressive at all. But then if he adds in specific delays, suddenly it brings the part to life. It adds these different hits at different times that just combine together to produce a really cool part. The good news is, if you're not a guitarist or if you don't have a pedal board, you can still apply that same technique to mixing, and it can be really fun, actually. So I want to show this. This is one song off of my upcoming album that's going to be released later this month, uh, May 2012, 2013, sorry, wrong year. And uh, this is the final song on the album, so it's a quieter, just an acoustic song, and uh, it's just got a couple acoustic guitars and piano. So here's a quick snippet of it. Okay, so it's supposed to be this nice, just chill song. And I recorded the two acoustic guitar parts for it and decided I wanted some piano. So I sat down at the piano and just recorded a really basic piano part to come in. So this doesn't come in at the, the entire song. There's a first verse with one guitar, second verse has two guitars, and then the third verse adds in a piano. So it just slowly, subtly builds an instrumentation as you get through the song. And so here is that piano part that I recorded. Again, very simple. So just I mean really, really simple part. And, and I actually liked it. It worked well. I had some reverb to it. Sounds nice in the mix. And so I was working on the mix and I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder what it would sound like with some delay on that piano. It's such a simple part that might actually be pretty cool. And I almost never put delay on piano. And this was, it wasn't like me to even think about it, but I tried it out and I was really happy with what happened and I ended up using it in the mix. So what did I do? I pulled up this basic analog delay that comes with Studio One. Any DAW will have a delay that has these basic features to it. First thing I did was set the delay to a dotted eighth note. So for those guitarists out there, you know this is the Edge's setting. He sets a lot of his delays in his songs to dotted eighth notes. It has a cool vibe to it. Um, other than that, I really didn't mess with the tone at all. I turned the saturation up to keep it warm, uh, rolled off a little bit of low frequencies to keep it from being too muddy, didn't roll off any highs, and I set the feedback to around 40%, I think. It might have been more in the final mix, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I have to go back and look. But here is the, these are the basic settings that I used. And listen to the difference that it makes in this piano part. And I'm going to actually play the part for you, a couple of bars of the original part, and then I'm going to add in the delay and listen to how it almost sounds like a completely different piano part entirely. Let's take a listen. that cool? Now obviously it's not the best piano recording in the world. You can hear the pedal squeaking and stuff, but I kind of like that vibe. It's my little upright piano back there. But it just it almost changed the part entirely. Instead of bum 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 bum, it goes to this cool bum ba da ba da boom ba dum ba da boom da boom. It's just a really cool different sound and actually ended up using that in the final mix because I loved the way that sounded. It took a simple piano part and added some complexity to it. So if you have simple parts out there, maybe you're not a great piano player, great guitar player, you can play some simple parts, adding in some delays and tweaking those settings, especially a dotted eighth delay, things like that, can add in some really interesting things that you may have never thought of and can really take your mix to a different level you may or a different direction you may not have thought of before. So hope that helps. Try it on your next mix and see how you like it. Uh, for the outro music of this video, I'll go, go ahead and play that section so you can hear that piano. It's pretty far down in the mix, but you can hear that little part, that ding, de, de, ding, ding, going over and over again in the background. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for being a subscriber at HomestudioCorner.com, and we'll see you in the next video. I fear no fall with the at hand to bless. Ills have no weight and tears no bitterness. Where is destiny? Where
victory I try